on behalf of my beloved wife, Kristen, and our dear seven children, Francesca, John Paul, Dominic, Rita Rose, Mariana, Anthony, and baby Josepha, who hear, you hear in the background, I wish our embassy family, my interlocutors in Fiji, Kiribati, Nauru, Tuvalu, and Tonga, and my diplomatic corps colleagues, a very Merry Christmas and many blessings to you and your families in the new year. A passage from Charles Dickens' masterpiece, A Tale of Two Cities, reads, It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of foolishness, it was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We are certainly living in epochal times. Even so, we continue sharing in moments of joy while facing the tragedy of this cruel and costly plague, yet making solid achievements together. There is much to uh, reflect on uh, as the end of this year is nigh, especially the permanent things, the most important things, love of neighbor, family life, and uh, the brevity of life. I suppose if there's a pearl of wisdom formed out of this year, it would be that we ought to hold things more sacredly. While many of our forebears endured much worse and sacrificed uh, far greater, far too many endured uh, grave challenges this year. Philanthropy, essentially the act of charitable giving, comes from the ancient Greek words philos and anthropos, meaning the loving of fellow man. For those who are without need this year, I would ask you to join me, my family, and uh, our embassy family in expressing uh, your love by helping those of our brothers and sisters who are in need uh, due to this plague, uh, this Christmas and certainly beyond. Uh, even in the most perilous of times, the blessings and mighty pillars of freedom and faith have kept the United States of America enduring, always serving as a beacon for the world. Uh, alas, even in today's world, not all are free. Uh, some people of faith are denied the ability to practice their religion on account of authoritarian or totalitarian uh, governments wielding their iron fists. As my family and I are joining other Christians in reveling in the birth of Jesus Christ and reflect on the hallowed message from the first Christmas over 2,000 years ago, which was glory to God in the highest and on earth peace uh, and goodwill toward all men. Let us be in prayerful solidarity for our brothers and sisters who are oppressed because of their faith, at minimum holding them in our minds and hearts. May their own light of faith and longing for liberty never be extinguished. It is with the deep spirit of joy and gratitude, Kristen and the children and I send you our love and wish you and your families a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. God bless.